yes everybody so in this session we are going to see about the population growth rate okay so in the last session we did a complete thing so it was all about what is the population definition how to measure the size what is mark recapture method and what is the population density how to calculate the dispersion we use the formula variance by mean if you didn't uh, may attend that class please do go back and attend that session and come here such that you will get a continuation to watch the videos one by one you will become an expert in the population ecology after all these videos right so in today's class what we are going to study we are going to study about the population growth rate okay so how this population is going to grow okay so these are the beautiful penguins that is going to take a growth so whether this growth is taking place at a, a, a particular pace what it is going to be the speed of the growth and all that is what we are going to see it today right okay guys so let us see what is this population growth okay right so what do you mean by growth growth means it is increase isn't it right so this population growth tells us as how this number it is going to increase so what is the population growth the population growth tells us like how the number of individuals it is going to increase how it will increase if somebody is coming inside our country for example it is the immigration then the size will increase right if some new child is born absolutely our population will increase so this is also an increase in the population size got the logic okay so this is these two the birth and the immigration they are going to come inside so it is going to increase the population growth or the population size but what will decrease if there is going to be death of somebody or somebody is leaving our country then what will happen to the population size the population size is going to decrease got the point so when the population size is going to increase when the population size is going to decrease fantastic so what is the population growth so growth means it is all about the increase so what are the two increasing factor birth and immigration this is what is called as the increase right and what is going to be the decrease it is going to be the death and emigration okay right so what is the overall increase it is going to be the total change in this uh, growth your dn by dt it is the total change it can be called as by a term called r uh, intrinsic growth rate it is birth minus death birth means it is going to include the birth and immigration death means it is including the death and the emigration so this is how you can calculate the total uh, growth okay so if you take this regulation okay how it is going to be regulated see your population it can either grow or it can decrease how this growth and decrease is taking place it can take place based on two major events what are they one it can be density dependent what do you mean by density dependent density dependent means it says that it is going to depend like how the population is going to look like for example if it is crowded see you all know about this covid situation in the covid situation what everybody was recommended don't go to group if you go to group everybody will get the infection this is what is called as the density dependent factor generally the disease it will be spreading soon if at all the density is more okay if something like an earthquake is coming some kind of catastrophe is coming will it be dependent on density not at all isn't it so that will be considered under the density independent factor so that is what we are going to see in detail today yes so this population growth can be regulated by two major factors one it is going to be your density dependent factor and another one is the density independent factor density dependent factor generally it is going to include all about your ha huh, so density dependent factor is including all about your factors that is increasing due to the crowd right i told you about this covid good example so if at all your people are staying in crowd the covid was increasing yes if you are isolated at home the spread the chain was cut 
got it so this is what is the density dependent and the density independent factors so lot of numericals and questions will come from that so we'll see that in detail so first one we are going to see is the density dependent factor so which are all density dependent they have a various impact for example food availability see there is going to be only one deer and there is only one tiger so there is no competition okay so density is less so it will get its food properly but imagine there were like 100 tigers okay right and there is only one deer so what will happen too much of competition will take place the tiger will fight among themselves for food they will starve and die correct so this is the density dependent factor okay so if at all the density is going to influence it is going to affect them the growth the uh, population okay so that is what is called as the density dependent factor so what are all included in that it is including the food availability so what are all included in that it includes the food availability it includes the predator density what do you mean by predator density there is 100 tigers and 100 deers each one tiger will eat one deer there is going to be 100 tiger 10 deer definitely all the deer are gone huh? but if there is only one tiger and 100 deer one tiger cannot eat all the 100 uh, deer right so it is a density dependent factor so predator density is very important and then disease risk i told you the good example of our covid if density is more the spread of covid was more yes if the people were isolated at home covid was not at all spreading so this is a good example of density dependent factor so in short the population growth is affected by the density so what are the three major examples we saw if the density is only going to influence the population growth it is what is called as density dependent factor and the major one it includes the predator density it includes the disease and then it includes the food availability that is nothing but the prey correct so predator one prey one and then the uh, the third one is the disease risk so these three are going to be the density dependent factor clear till this it is all clear so first slide we saw about what is this population so population when it will increase due to birth and immigration when the population will decrease whenever there is the death and emigration they go away no so it is decreasing right and intrinsic growth rate r is equal to d minus d then we came into this density dependent factor now the second one is density independent factor will the earthquake uh, live, wait and uh, see oh my god this area it is heavily populated so i should not quake the earth here uh, the volcano i should not erupt here because too much people are there see the tsunami did it have anything on density no it will simply come whether it is an island empty land or it is a heavily populated region it doesn't have any influence only isn't it it will come on its own and go on its own so that is what it is called as density independent factor okay so what do you mean by density independent factor it is going to be not at all influenced it is not at all influenced by the species population size species population size can never decide the environment okay so all the species they will be similarly affected see if at all a forest fire is coming uh, will uh, will will there be any distinguishing oh this is a flowering plant i should not fire it this is a non flowering or a grass i can fire it like that will it see any distinguishing not at all forest fire is going to simply destroy the total thing it is regardless of the population size it is regardless of the species so generally all the climatic factors like weather climate and all the natural calamity and disaster they come under the density independent factor okay so recap density dependent factor means it is dependent on the density including your prey including your predator it includes your disease these are the density dependent factor density independent factor all the natural calamity natural disaster earthquake forest fire tsunami and uh, all this weather climate everything it is coming under the density independent factor it will not see whether you have high number of people you have low number of people no simply it will come and go that is the density independent factor 
Okay, right everybody. So let us see a few questions before we make up a move towards the next one. All right. So can you see this? Okay. Select the correct density independent factor. Okay, density independent. Density is not depending here. Abiotic and pollution, disease, parasite, competition. Answer it in the comment box. If you are not uh, watching it live, answer it in the comment box. Select the density independent factor. Hmm? Whether it is going to be abiotic and pollution, whether it is going to be the disease, whether it is going to be the competition or it is going to be the parasite. Yes, everybody. Come on, guys. Please make a note of these points. This will be really helpful. In pooled preparation, making notes will help you a lot. Okay. Coming back here. So, what about this parasite? Parasite is ah, density dependent. Think of our corona, right? Yes, it is density dependent. Disease, density dependent. Competition, predator prey involved, density dependent. What about abiotic and pollution? Will it see? Oh my God, this city is not much crowded. Like that, will it see? Not at all. So, this abiotic factors, it is going to be density independent factor. Okay, right. Exactly. So, that is going to be the correct answer for this question. Right. Fine, everybody. So, there are few uh, important graphs. Always, I tell you that ecology is loaded with more and more of graphical questions. So, one such graph is this. This is plotted between this mortality. Mortality means it is the uh, mortal, dead. Okay. So, it is the death rate. Death rate is going to be this mortality. Immortal cell lines, mortal. Okay. So, this is the population density. See here, even you increase the size. Let me take this as 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. If you increase the population size also, this mortality rate is not increasing, not decreasing. So, it is a density independent. So, it is not dependent on the density. Okay, even though you change, it is not going to have any influence. So, it is becoming density independent. But, see this, if you increase the density, this fellow is increasing. See, yes, if you increase the density, this fellow is increasing. So, it is going to be a density dependent factor. Yes, so this mortality is going to be density dependent factor. Alright, so this too will be clear to everybody in this class. But the next fellow is only tricking you, right? Let us check this. So, see here, if the mort if your population size is low, the mortality is low. If the population size is increasing, right? So, what happens? Ah, the mortality it is inversely related, right? So, if it, is, it is going to have an inverse relation. So, this inverse graph, should I call it as density dependent or density independent? It is also density dependent, okay? So, this is also density dependent, even though it is opposite, it is also a negative correlation, correct? But it is correlated, you cannot say that it is density independent. It is density dependent only, but it is having an inverse density dependency. If your density is increased, mortality is decreased. Yes, so see the cows, the cows are coming in group, a tiger is coming. So. United, uh, united we live, divided we fall. That story you could have heard. It is the inverse density dependency. If the tiger is coming, it is scared. Oh my God, too much of cows, they may hurt. Tiger goes away. So, this is a inverse density dependent relationship. Likewise, you have a density dependent relationship. You increase the density, mortality is increased. You decrease the density, it is going to change. Right? So, that is uh, the, your, this fellow is going to decrease. So, this is an inverse density dependency. I hope that this is also clear to you. 
yes everyone fantastic so these are the key points ma so usually these so let's see a question from this topic population so the birth rate is represented as the b and the death rate is going to be the d so there is two species species 1 and 2 and it is with relation to the population density n you can see here the birth and the death rate are marked from low to high here and this is the n that is going to be the population density okay right fine so now let us see they are asking the question which of the following it is it is uh, going to be you know the density dependent uh, you know effect it is there on the birth and the death rate so we will see this graph there are four markings that is being given so it is going to be your b1 b2 d1 and d2 so let us see in detail about what is going to be the influence of all those stuff right so the first point says that the birth rate it is density dependent in species 1 so see it is a decrease so decrease is also if you uh, know if you increase your density this birth rate is going to decrease because initially here it is high but when you come to the high population the b1 is decreasing but it is also an effect so it is uh, i told you already that uh, density it may positively influence or it may negatively influence also so hence this is going to be a correct factor only right they are asking for which of the following is not true so definitely this is not the answer for this question this is a correct statement and uh, in species 2 it is density independent this is the species 2 it is not at all changing so definitely it is density independent only next option says that the death rates are density dependent in both the species so see here death 1 and death 2 both are density dependent that is also correct statement they have asked not true so this also you are eliminating the third one states that the density dependent effect on birth rate uh, no it is stronger in species 1 than 2 so see the species 1 yes it is stronger okay so this uh, species 2 uh, it is having no effect okay so absolutely this density dependent effect it is more in the species 1 than 2 this is also a correct statement so this cannot be a not true statement so the final one states that the density dependent effects on the death rate it is similar in both the species Mm, death rate see here here the angle is different okay so when the angle is different obviously the rate is also going to differ but it is saying that it is similar in both it is density dependent till that it is correct but it is not at all similar in both so the correct answer for this question it is going to be this option so you should be very careful while reading the question like what they are asking are they asking this uh, true one or not true one like that you have to make a detailed follow up such that you can seriously end up with the correct answer i hope this was helpful to you all the very best guys